Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Uh, right, another Dark Elder update for you. I'm really, really excited. Absolutely loving these Dark Elder models. Um, and today I'm going to show you the Hellions and the Scourges that I got from Kiblams. Um, again, a massive, massive thank you to Craig from Kiblams uh, for sending these models into uh, the uh, £25 Army Challenge project for me. Um, your donation very much greatly received. Um, so I will put a link to Kiblam's channel in the description below, so please, please go and check that out. Um, but yes, so I've been preparing these. Um, first of all, I want to talk about the Hellions. Um, what awesome models they are, fantastic little models. Uh, I know they're not very good in the game, but who cares, they look so cool. Uh, so I have five of those. Um, one of them I had to strip the board, so this one here I, I did some stripping of the board um, and then I just went over, just cleaned up a few odd and end uh, mould lines that were needed to be done and uh, then I've glued them to the boards. Um, potentially if I was, I mean to, because of my paint scheme where I've got quite a nice quick easy paint scheme uh, that's why I decided to like to actually glue them to the boards. I think potentially if I was having a harder paint scheme to, to paint, I might have glued them on afterwards. Um, but I, with the scheme that I've got, they're gonna be fine painting actually on the boards. Now having said that, I haven't um, glued them onto the ball and socket sort of uh, bases. Now I have to be honest, this is the first time I've seen this design of base. It is pretty cool. Um, I'm just wondering what to do. Now normally I magnetise my bases, but these seem to fit in quite nicely into that little joint. Um, obviously you've got to have some primer and stuff on there, so that's going to be slightly smaller uh, by the time we've finished. But um, I'm thinking that probably is going to work, but I have no experience on that. So if you do have any experience on that little socket, what do you do? Do you just glue them? Um, I was thinking there is an option to potentially drill a little hole in the top of this board and, and uh, put a magnet in there. Um, or will they just go on and fit like that without any issues um, in terms of playing them on the table? So uh, feedback appreciated if you've got any experience with that. Uh, but that's where I've got up to on those uh, little Hellions. Just move those to the side and now I'm going to work on uh, what is as far as I'm aware, a good unit for the Dark Elder, and that is the Scourges. Let's just bring these in a little bit closer. Um, so, yeah, the Scourges. Now, I had nine of these um, all together, and once again, I went in and uh, just cleaned up any of the mould lines. Um, I also have rebased them as well, um, or at least added some base because there was a few gaps where the sand had sort of come off. Um, so I just got those up to, to standard. So all the bases now are ready. Um, I've also gone in and I've put some green stuff underneath the bases there just to help weigh them down. Um, but not only that, um, I went in with a hairdryer um, uh, on their feet and basically heated them up uh, to, to make the plastic bendy and I've physically bent all the models so they're all yes okay they're all more of an upright position they may not look quite as good um, but they're very very stable uh, now because they're in that more upright position so I've balanced them off up by um, that green stuff which obviously does help but also by repositioning them and that was very very easy just a, a hot hair dryer on there just for a few seconds um, let the plastic melt enough so that you can move it um, and then just switch the hair dryer to the cold setting and just like, blast it again and they're just absolutely perfect so really really happy with that um, in terms of the unit um, I had six of these sort of like feathered wings um, and then I had three of these sort of bat wings. Um, I did also have a body um, only without sort of like a set, uh, bottom half um, and that body just had the bat wings on. So I came up with a little plan for these because, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of the gun options uh, I had three splinter cannons um, and that was it. So the gun option which I plan to take um, is going to be the Haywire Blaster, I think it's called, or the Haywire Gun. So I'll be taking four of those in this unit um, and 
The truth is I'm not going to be playing these in any tournaments or anything so having the splinter cannon on the model um, and just saying it's the haywire gun is going to be absolutely fine for my sort of gaming like group um, as such so um, I'm going to put splinter cannons all on, on them all. Um, I only have three as I said um, but I've got some more splinter cannons coming from uh, my very good buddy Clayton, 33 Clay Dog. He sent me a few guns actually, actually that I need just to help complete the army. So thank you Clayton, um, and I'll put a link to Clayton's channel in the description below. Um, if you're not subbed already, go and check him out because he is a, a wonderful painter. Um, so yeah, um, I did change up the splinter cannon slightly. Um, I just took off this like front section here. I might just take off the end section at the back there just to make it look a little bit different. Um, but as I said, I'm not really not too worried about that. Uh, but I've gone actually to a slightly, a slightly adjacent thing there. So anyway, but back to the wings. So yeah, my idea was that I would use the four bat wings um, as the guys that are, are holding basically the additional weapon. Um, so what I did is I ripped the uh, bat wings off of this body that I had um, and I ripped the feathered wings off of one of these guys which actually was this one and I glued the bat wings onto here. I had to fill in a little bit with the green stuff, a uh, tiny bit of green stuff work but not too much to be fair. Um, I just used the plastic glue to my advantage where it mounted both sides um, and then I uh, just glued them on and they're really really strong so I'm very happy with that so now I have four with bat wings I have five with feathered wings the bat, wing, bat wings ones are the ones with heavy weapons um, of whatever choice I do they're going to be holding splinter cannons which I might convert just slightly more as I said just to change them a little bit so that effectively I can say whatever gun they are on the night um, you know as long as everyone knows that's the, that's the main thing so that is it. So that is those two units done. Um, as I said, I'm really happy with them. Absolutely love the models. Uh, these Dark Elder models are really, really awesome models. Um, can't wait to get them painting. Um, I'm struggling to work out how I'm going to paint these particular ones, the Scourges, with their wings. Um, I suppose orange feathers and orange bat wings could work. Um, let me know what you think there if you've got any um, feedback or suggestions um, but yeah so that's it for this video thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one